right. The Aurora suffered orbital pile failure. Cause unknown. Zero human life signs detected. Is just gonna a compass? Cause if you don't, it's gonna be a little harder without it. But I mean, if that's how you want to play, go ahead. Do the compass. We'll put a little thing up there by your meters. Also, I think you get one. I use. I suggest creative for your first time because if you don't, you probably get screwed. Or you know, it's good to know what you're doing at first. Just throw this thing out. And just spawn in a sea moth. The sea moth is a fast, oh no. safe mode of transport. But remember that swimming is good for your glutes and endorphin levels. Alright, so once that's done, I need to swim over here. And get on. So let's see. Here's what I do. So you can press F3, I and mean, you'll see this little thing called, and then just press 6. It'll show you pretty much everything. What you need to do for now is go northeast. You do this for a little bit. I'm not going to be cutting any of this so you guys, you know, fully understand everything. <clears throat> Let me tell you, it's about thousand meter journey, I think. About. Or a thousand meters from that. It's not too bad. So if you press 6, it will show you, you know, general outlines of, uh, buildings and depths and etc. And terrain. Okay, if you ever, when you see this giant island thing, the the gun is near that, so head right towards it. I see, yeah, that's it. So you really can't see the gun, but it's di like directly to the left of it. So go to the left of it. Like I said, about a thousand meters away from the escape pod. And if you want, I think you can go on this island, but I really don't mind. I don't really do it often, so. Okay, now you can start seeing the gun. There's the outline of it. Uh, this is the thing that you'll need to shut down in orbit in order to shoot your rocket into space. Now you just go towards it. Detecting massive energy signature in the region. Cannot identify. Alright, so one sec, let me get something real quick. Okay. <clears throat> You'll see these, you know, strange little animals, but don't worry about them, they don't attack you. Um, so this is the gun. It's pretty much what keeps you in. Make sure you really can't take off from the planet. So you want to go towards the back. So when you get here, just go around. And you'll uh, see this little entryway. Just come in here. Okay, so to do that. And about, you don't need to worry about any of that. Uh, F3 is to close the menu again. When you come in here, pretty much just get to the top of this place. Because that's where you... Actually, I eh, don't need that. So all these like green things are pretty much forest, forest fields, which you'll need a tablet for. 
So if you're doing a survival game mode, you need to make those. But you need a purple tablet. So just go into your browser and go search up purple tablet Subnautica or something like that. And once you're there, you'll see alien tablets. And then, you know, it's a Subnautica wiki from, you know, fandom. So you'll get to this page. Uh, scroll down to the right tablet, so purple tablet. Down here, you'll see a tablet ID. So go precursor key purple, copy that. So once you do that, uh, hmm, may have forgot to do something. Uh, <laughs> I totally forgot to do this. Uh, one sec. Oh, okay, so <laughs> on the bottom left, you'll see that. So do item and then paste that what you got. It'll give you a tablet, and then you can just place it right there. So I'll turn this off. Feel free to just run on through. These things will come down. Just interact with this thing right here. And grab your hand. Can I stab you? America. Now we'll go to the, the next step. Is broadcasting a message. Translation reads: Warning: Infected individuals may not disable the weapon. This planet is under quarantine. So don't worry about fall damage in this game. No, no such thing. Uh. Okay. So. And just go back to your C moth. And at this point, I'm just gonna jump in and go back towards our escape pod. That's all you need to do here for now. Now I'll be heading towards the lava caves and where the queen is, or whatever it is called. So pretty much just head directly back towards your escape pod and then we'll start heading to the lava uh, canals or I think that's what it's called, lava caves, same thing. Or I think it's in the game it's probably called lava region, but you know. You can see the outline of the ship and stuff with this, it's pretty cool. Very helpful when you're trying to find certain things. Especially big objects like the island. Uh, so where we're going now, we're going to we'll go below 1,000 meters. Uh, so I don't really think the Seamoth can go that far down. So you may need to suit. If you're in normal survival Life mode, but in a uh, grows in unusually distinct and diverse ecological biomes. Further study recommended. But in a uh, creative, you can go sleep as you want with the sea moth, so don't even worry about it if you're just doing it in creative. In survival, definitely get the suit and make sure that you so you can get deep, go down that deep without dying. Mm. You, you can even see the outline of the escape pod on this. Okay, so once you're here, go to this side, face towards the ship. So we're facing towards, turn around pretty much, and just head northwest. This will get you to the general direction of the lava uh, territory, where the other alien like places are, or where the actually like I don't. 
It happens sometimes, like, the little girl will come up and say, like, are you thinking of me or something? And, uh, that's the person we're going to meet. She's the only person that will get you out of this place, or even give you the chance to turn off the, uh, you know, the little cannon. Uh, just keep going northwest. And there's one thing that's very helpful on how to get there correctly. But you gotta go a little ways. It's kind of a weird object you just need to look out for. Uh. That may be it right there, the unloaded chunk. Nope, that's not it. I just keep heading northwest. If you get lost. If I get lost, then I'll have to... A good, okay, so as soon as you see this thing right here, here, I'll even get closer to it so you guys can see it. But if you use the visual depth cheat thing, you'll be able to see it pretty easily. You see this... I don't know exactly why it's in the game, but uh, it's very helpful. You'll see this little thing right here. Just go right past it. This will definitely mean you're going the right way if you see this. In this area is dominated by Just start blood. diving. Up faint, and you'll see this hole right down. The way to tell that this is the right way is you'll see these crazy wall forms. So just keep diving down. And keep... You know, just keep diving. Don't even think about stopping. There's some scary animals down here. I don't think they'll attack you, but... I'm not exactly sure, so maybe stay away from them. Pretty much to find this place, you just keep diving down. Okay. Detecting increased local radiation levels. Trend is consistent with damage to the Aurora's drive core. Sustained. So the way, so there is a few things in here that can Local damage your Zenoth. So. Opening. Leading to a biome with extensive fossilized remains. So the way I suggest to do this is you stay against the walls, and eventually you'll see the opening to get towards the lava area. So if you just follow them, this is the easiest way to make sure you just don't get lost. Because if you get lost, it's gonna suck. Don't worry about that area. Just pass it. I don't know what that that sound is, but I don't like it. <laughs> Just keep following the walls. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> try to avoid a certain things. Uh, I'll let you know when we're in the right section. Yeah. This place is the sketchiest place ever. Okay, you'll see this opening in the back. It's pretty wide. Just go down it. Okay, nothing was following me. Ooh. And just start diving again. So once you get into this section, there's also things that can damage you, so stay away from those as well. Uh, you'll get in this section, just pass it, don't even worry about it, just pretty much keep hitting straight. Yeah, just keep following this section. scans indicate this biome contains unusually high concentrations of organic and fossilized remains. Ooh. Uh oh. I took the wrong turn, definitely. Sorry about that. Let's go back. Now you just 
better not be fucking following me. No. Okay. You know, you gotta see, you gotta explore a little bit more. Hey, don't hate. Now you just gotta, you know, see a little section of it. Pretty nice, all right? Totally did that on purpose. <laughs> You can tell we're kind of close to these columns, but it's not the way I remember going to find it. Did these things hurt your- uh, please don't. Okay, okay, now we're back where we were. You go to the right. You stay to the right. That is 100% correct. You go into this... Okay, look for this purple dungeon thing. Where all these... It kind of looks like stingrays are hanging out. I'm not sure what they're exactly called. Uh, you know, just look for a bunch of these things. And as soon as you go down that steep tunnel, just head to the right, and you'll see this purple section. Uh, don't worry about these things. They don't attack you. I don't know what happens if you like try to attack their eggs, but... You know, if you want to test that out, go on ahead. So just keep going straight through this tunnel. Sorry about earlier. Totally forgot you had to stay to the right. So now we're almost in the lava section. Uh, when you get into this room, just keep fall. Just keep going down. Follow this little. S kind of looks like a slide. Just right down to the bottom. Okay, once you're down here, just keep going straight. I'm not sure what's down there, but don't worry about it. It doesn't matter. Once again, you'll start hitting more straight down things. So just, you know, once again, follow it. Okay, as soon as you see your screen get a red tent, that means you're in the right area. You'll see all this lava, and now we're in the lava section. So as soon as you get down here, take a right, and just keep going. When you get over here, stay to the right. I'm not sure if the other, other, all right there takes you to somewhere else, but I'm just gonna say stay to the right. You were trying to get to the right place. You'll see this lava, you know, lava, let's call it waterfall. Just keep following it. As you can see, we're at 1,200 meters, which I don't think the Seamoth can normally follow or go down, but I'm not 100% positive on it. If it can, just let me know. Or look, put it in the comments and let other people know. So just keep going straight. Keep her going. Okay, you'll reach this place. Just keep going. Don't worry about turning yet. If you see this little... This is the one thing I kind of kept noted of. This one weird rock thing. It's ca like carved out almost. Just keep following it. <laughs> God damn, these things are annoying. They're loud. Then you'll hit this, like, canal, like, or, uh, you know, tunnel. Head right down it. And you'll reach this room, and, you know, different, different holes in the wall. So, you just came from over there. Go right down to this way. Okay, we're almost to where we need to be. As soon as you see a bunch of lava, you're in the right place. That means you can see the Celsius going up like crazy, the temperature. Because how much lava's in this area. You'll see, you know, some different things down here. See, here we go. 
Okay, as soon as you get down here, maybe this thing will attack you. Not 100% sure, I doubt it. Um, head right, you'll just see this giant palace of green. Just go there. I really hope that thing doesn't attack. That'd be a real bummer to end the video like that. <laughs> okay, so you just need to park right here. It's not gonna let you in there. There you go. So here, you'll need a blue tablet. So go back here. Scroll down to the blue tablet section right here. Copy this. I'll also leave all like you know the things you need to copy in the description, so you can just copy off of there. But whatever. And do item press or to open the. Actually, here let me show you one thing. Uh, so when the, you get in the game, you'll need to. Uh, you'll need to. Uh, unlock the console so go here and press it'll be like this just undo that then press enter and then after you disable the console or after you you know unequip that then press enter and then this link on the bottom left will open then do item paste what you just did actually and then do it one more time because you'll need two of these tablets to actually get through then put that in this tablet will turn off. What is that? <laughs> Alright, so... You'll need these ion cubes. Uh, but you can spawn them in, so whatever. Life okay, so after you get that blue tablet in, if you didn't do it when I told you to, just you know, spawn another one in, then you need to jump down here and just chill in this general area. Here she comes. swims with the current or fight against it as they did once you say see that you know just swim off she won't attack you don't worry about that don't think about that you need to avoid her or anything uh you know this you can swim a little swim a little quicker uh, none of the animals in here will really attack you so the way you continue the story is you get near her eggs which are by this area see there she is if you come down here, she'll kind of look at you, give you a weird stare. Okay, so now. Environment scans indicate the water here is rich with a rare plankton-like life form, which depends on the organic detritus produced by the ecosystem around it. Okay, so here, before she talks anymore, you need to insert an ion cube. So once again, go back to your browser and search up ion. Uh oh. Yeah, Ion Cube Subnautica. Once you do that, click it. It'll tell you little things about it. If you really want to read all about it, then go ahead. Then down here, debug spawn, pre something something crystal. Then to enter item, spawn it in. Then put it on this platform. My young need to hatch, to play outside this place. We have been here so long. The others built a passage to reach the world outside. I asked them for this freedom, but they could not hear me. If you help us, I will give you freely what the others tried in vain to take. 
Okay, so once again to open this portal thing, you'll need a ion cube. So once again, item, just place that. Get it, and here you go. Throw it in. This portal will turn on. So with the passage you have opened, my young can leave this place. But first they must feel the time is right and break free of their shells. This is what the others could not force from me. To you, I give the secret willingly. Okay, so now you need to go back to your browser and search up hatching enzyme enzymes subnautica. So this is something that you have to spawn in in order to, you know, continue. So once you're there, you'll see it's a little bottle. Go down to VX spawn again, hatching, copy that, control C, and go back, enter, item, paste it. You'll get one, put it in. Let's do that. So stand there again. And they're hatching. So right now, just take in this moment, you know, this cool moment. Especially if you're in survival mode, because this means you're pretty much almost completed with the game. My young are swimming for the shallows. I thank you. Their freedom is my end. What will it be like, I wonder, to go to sleep and never wake up? Perhaps next we meet, I will be an ocean current, carrying seas to a new land. Or a creature so small, it sees the gaps between the grains of sand. Farewell. So if you ever go through that portal and come back, she'll be dead because now her, now her young are gone. And there's no point of her to live anymore to protect them. So, once you do that, but as if you looked if you paid attention closely, you can see that when the uh, her babies went into the portal, they dropped these little clear crystal things. They're called concentrated enzyme 42. It's pretty much what you needed in order to get unaffected so you can turn off the turret or uh yeah that. So you just touch this and this uh cinematic will happen. So there you go, once you did that, every every single one will be concentrated, you don't have to go do another one, see if I fly down with this one, concentrated in Mzine 42, you can't collect anymore. As soon as this, you know, get your last look of her, because she did, then jump back in this portal. Uh, if you really want to, you can go ahead and explore this place a little more, it's kind of cool, but you know, jump in this portal. Don't get this. Just wait it out. <laughs> Trust me, I know it's a long cinema. Uh, so here are all of our babies. They're actually, I mean, I guess you could have came back and, you know, collected this too, but it doesn't matter. Here they are. Uh, you can scan them if you want. I'm not going to, but, you know, whatever. If that's what... It, you know, your whole purpose of this game was to scan everything, then, you know, scan it. You can also scan the eggs. You can't scan the queen or whatever they call her. Uh, then, I mean, you're coming pretty close to the end of the game. So, fly up into here. Uh, you don't need to worry about that. If you go up there, the little robot will scream at you and be like, 
you know, the control room is downstairs, and you'll be like, oh, let me just go back down. Uh, but that one takes a purple tablet, so if you ever want to go do that, go ahead. Now, there's actually an ion cube right there, but you don't need it. Uh, there's a purple cube right or a purple tablet right there. There's all kinds of stuff in here you can look at. It's kind of like a mini, uh, museum. Like, what's this? I literally don't know. Uh, you don't need to spawn in another tablet or anything. And you take a right. In if you remember this from earlier, we're back here. So this time, just look at the different different changes. And if you, if this happens, you, you did it right for sure. So once <laughs> All right, so once you see everything turn off in this building, that means that this is officially turned off and you can actually leave the atmosphere of this planet. Um, so what you need to do next is build the rocket. In creative mode, you just go to the, uh, eat a vehicle, my answer. But you, you, since you're over here and you don't have your Seamoth anymore because, you know, Passing it's underground. 100 meters. Oxygen efficiency decreased. You're about 100, you're really, you're about 1,000 meters away from your, uh, life pod. So you might as well just swim back up. Um... The way I would do this is I would just cheat in another one. Um, but if you do not have the, if you're not in creative and you don't have your uh, command central open, this is gonna be harder for you. So search up a uh, vehicle. Uh oh, I spelled that wrong. Uh, I don't know. I'll get it. You can do that. Vehicle mm, bay subnautica. There you go. Once you do that, go here. Once a hint, debug spawn constructor. Copy that. I mean, you could, this is not too crazy, to, crazy to you know write so you can do it yourself. But do item constructor. Then you have another one. Throw it out. The thing I like about spawning your shift right here is you can see the turret. Uh, before you'll see this turret was straight up, and now once it's turned off, it's you know. Crouch down, not up anymore. Doesn't Cautious. look active. Continued degradation of the Aurora's drive core <laughs> may result in a quantum detonation. Continuing to monitor. So you can see how fast I did this. The Aurora hasn't even exploded yet. Uh, I think the first time I did this, it just exploded before it took off. Uh, and then I just kept getting better and better at it. Um, I'm currently working on actually doing this with survival. So I think that'd be really cool to actually, you know, finish it. It's probably ten times more satisfying when you went through the whole game through survival. You know, worked, had your food, water, etc. But, you know, creative is the way to go if you don't want to wait a year to finish it. Because this game, let me tell you, will take a long time to finish to survival. <laughs> There's dope cheats, you gotta spawn on the tablets, you gotta find the ion cubes, and you gotta get that formula, which can also take quite a while. So now, and also you have to get the minerals, you know, make this giant thing. So, once you make this, you need to get on here, and go to this little command central, and your robots will start building this like crazy. So let's do that, you know. These little robots will... Start working, building your thing like a normal vehicle bay, or a constructor, whatever you guys like to call it. Uh, it's really cool. I'm, I'm gonna tell you the ending is actually really cool and interesting. I like the, the way the developers actually put it together. Uh, now you got the Neptune boosters, you know, construct those.
So one thing I suggest to do if you... So, the way... When you get the rocket, you'll have to have a picture. So, just, you know, actually do anything. Take a picture of anything that's interesting, because I think a player, another player will actually get this time capsule and see what you gotta see. So, take F11. You'll take a PDA screenshot that you can put into your time capsule, and you'll use that later. You take a few if you want. It doesn't matter. You take a few of your rocket. So, you got the boosters now. So, whatever. Uh, now you need to, you know, craft the next part of it. So now all you're doing is, you know, building the rocket. So you can leave. Uh, yeah, you can't build anything on here. <laughs> uh, so this is actually really quick. I'm not sure exactly how long the video is going to be, but, you know, I'm sorry if it was very long, but hopefully it was useful. Because I remember the first time trying to find this, I had to go through like 20 videos just to see exactly what I was doing. You know, this is pretty good. So, name this whatever you guys want to, it doesn't matter. I like to just make it, you know, kind of dark, not too crazy, but I like to make the stripes on it, like, red. Uh, the name, you can, you know, put to whatever you want, I do that, and then boom, you have your rocket. <laughs> uh, so, if you try to build the rocket before you deactivate this thing, the rocket literally will not even let you sit down and take off. It will get pissed off. It'll tell you no, nothing will happen. You'll just sit there. You won't take off, basically. So you, it's this game forces you to go through the process. So yeah, you know you got to get through that. Uh, once you do that, come around, go up this elevator. Take a last look, because this will probably be the last moments on the planet. Once you're up here, enter the rocket. I'm gonna just show you how to arm the rocket and get ready for it. As soon as you enter, take a right and turn on everything. Pressurizing hydraulics. So you got your hydraulics on, then you go over here, turn on your communications. Communications systems array active. And then you need to turn on your power unit. Auxiliary power unit online. Okay, so now that you're up here, everything that's red, all these will have to be blue before you're able to go on. Or, you know, blast off, but whatever. So then you come over here, turn on your life support systems. Life support systems online. Come over here. And prepare this this is what you needed this cream shit out for. So you'll get this. So over here, go to image, take pick the screenshot you just did, come down here, press select, boom. Same message like hey hey this island is oh wait. This planet this planet sucks. Good luck. 